heard you let Nasri go. So we could track him, yes. Must have been a hard choice. If you'd been able to snag him, you probably could have disrupted arms traffic in the region. At least for a while. That's not my mission. Getting Shahid is. Anything come up you need my help with? Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was four dollars a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? Well, Al Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns. His personal bodyguards are well trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting edge tech. So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while then? Not as long as Westridge, and not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. Well, what other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. We're closing in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. Still, without the protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Complicates things? As in, they're a potential embarrassment to Helbeck? I think that's a big part of it. U.S. weapons used to kill U.S. citizens? Wouldn't look good on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Sounds like you have some doubts, Mina. No, 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 it's not like that. Not really. I mean, other agencies wouldn't approve, but that's not my call. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? To Beta or Gamma Protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities, or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because, Mike, you don't take orders. Or you don't take them well. You're your own man. I should hope so. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. I've flown more times than I can count. <laughs> and how high is that? Counting the times I had to parachute out or not? That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. Sure is a lot of security. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting.
Judging from the schematics, there's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel and the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. If you can fly, then you're welcome to try. I think you'd be surprised. I've got some IDs on some of the men in the camp. Looks like some of Shahid's a leader here. If you can take them out... Then I won't have to worry about running into them later. Shit. 
needs elite guard. Nice job. One less thing to worry about later. That's that. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though.
Looks like they got a stockpile of weapons here. Gonna see if... And that's the last of them. Well done. Now for the tower. Control power now. Look around for any computers. They may have flight records stored on them with ways to help track speed. Done. Transmitting the logs now. Why, thank you, Mr. Thornton. It seems you found the all some odd flight records. Can't wait to analyze these.
strong. We're good. Now get out of there. Mike, you made it back from the airfield. I was worried that once you were spotted... You need to have a little faith in me. I suppose. You did manage to get us the flight logs. It may be a problem in the future, though. If Shahid feels we're on to him, he'll bring his elite guard in, which could make your upcoming missions more difficult. We'll see. I think I'll get by. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. Parker's on it now. Which is why I called. Looks like we have something. Shahid's coordinates and an ETA. How reliable is it? 90%. The information we got from Nasri helped. And the transmission we're getting from the airfield confirms it. It looks like this is it, Mike. Westridge will be with you on the comm, and I'll be monitoring in case things get... difficult. What about the Al Samad camp? Should I still check it out, or...? There's time. You may find something useful. Try not to get killed, though. Or else we'll have to find another agent. I wouldn't worry about me. I'd worry about Al Samad. I have been. Since this whole thing started. Goodbye, Mike. When you go after Shahid, Westridge will contact you. All right. Thornton out.
What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. And you called me instead of Westridge? Lucky me. The al detention camp where they got the weapon stockpiles? Anything you can tell me? Getting satellite imagery of the area has been hard. My contacts haven't turned up much. What's the problem with the imagery? Camp's remote and dug into the side of a canyon. Beautiful view, but lousy for spying from above. So there's nothing else you can tell me. Guess this call was useless. Now, now, you came to the right person, don't get upset. Agents who lose their cool before they even get out of the safe house don't tend to live very long. That a threat? You're the only threat. You bring that temper of yours into the mission, there's bound to be a bigger explosion than you like. But trust me, I can help. Then let's hear it. The thing about the camp is weather. Sandstorms are hitting the area pretty hard. Which is to your advantage. How? It cuts down visibility for you and them. You need to sneak in before they know you're there. So just wait for the storm to kick up, then take them out. All right, good to know. Oh, one other thing. They've dug in deep, with a maze of tunnels beneath the camp. If they've got any weapons down there, it's gonna be a pain getting to them. So what do you recommend? They probably have as much trouble finding their way around as you do. So follow power lines or work lights when you can. Might guide you to where they've got their stockpiles. Got it. If they use those same routes to move around, shouldn't be too hard to pick them off either. I'll upload what maps I have to your PDA. They probably keep the weapons in the bottom of the base in case they, uh... Well, explode. Sounds like you're gonna be my handler when I infiltrate the Elsa Mod camp. Yeah, I got stuck handholding you. Hope that's not a problem. Nothing's wrong, just making sure we're good. Look, orientation's one thing, a mission's another. People think I have an attitude, but it doesn't keep me from doing my job. I admit, I'd rather be on the mission. But you're the one Westridge picked, so let's get this done. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. Zip rep. No radio chatter, no alarms. Looks like he did a good job of getting in under their radar. Wish our choppers could. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Bad intel? No, sandstorms. They fuck with the satellite imagery. But they're great for someone moving in on foot. Let you get in for the kill before the bad guys know you're there. So, wait for a storm, use it as cover. That's the idea. Probably won't be that simple. But hey. That's why they sent you instead of me, right? At the camp. They're dug in pretty deep. Any sign of the radio tower? Yeah, it's across the canyon from me. A lot of open ground in between. Try not to get spotted. If you get trapped in there... I know.
Found the radio tower. Now look for the generator. You should be in a building nearby. just opened up. In. Good. Now get to the servers and upload that data. You weren't kidding about the tunnels in this place. The hell of a down there. The servers need power. Find power lines or work lights. Then follow them to the source. They need to find their way around as much as you can. Looks like it's on the old cells.
sign of the missiles, though. Looks like this place has been cleaned out. Damn. Guess that would have been too much to hope for. All right. Get to the computer if you can. On it. Uploading the information now. A lot of data here. And this system looks pretty state of the art. Receiving. You weren't kidding. Watch your back, they probably got guards on the way. These specs look like Halbeck targeting data tied into the radio tower. Alright. Get topside if you can. We could use the help. Looks like we got company. A lot of it. So I'm pinned down. I got a Black Hawk on the way. Meet up with us topside.
All right, we're clear. Let's do this. Good job, Mike. Not bad for the new guy. All the missions go as smoothly as this? You're alive, aren't you? So you got back safely. Yeah, thanks for the lift out of there. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. About the mission. Yeah, what? Is there a problem? No, I just thought you did a good job out there. Well, I admit I'd rather have been the one on that mission. But you're the one Westridge picked, and it's my job to back you up. But I was pretty impressed. You didn't need much help. And hey, maybe next time, you'll be on the headset. Let me know as soon as you find out anything, Darcy. All right, I'll be in touch, Mikey.